I decided not to modify my bearings. I just put some grease in them. I'm gonna see how long it takes before they start squeaking. Who knows? Maybe it'll, it'll just be good. Maybe by the time the uh, the grease is all somehow out of there, the rollers will be worn down or something. I don't know. It should last a long time like this anyway. Look at that. So smooth now, the wind's even blowing it. Nice. Oh yeah, listen to that. So smooth. Put a PVC inside here to hopefully keep it from flexing too much. I didn't want it to go all the way down to the underwater part. Of course, I didn't actually measure anything. I have no idea if it's right. Hopefully, it's right. I don't know. Hmm, you know these things I took off. I think I might be able to use them for chair parts. And if this, oh it does! Use this to have adjustable chairs. I think if I get these lined up right, this should work pretty well. I'll have to wrap that with more fiberglass so it's strong. I'm thinking I can put a bolt in there and have something that goes up to the front of the boat to steer. My last boat actually has one of these pipes pushing on that. Alright, I got that glued in. A couple layers of fiberglass. I should probably put more since. My big butt's gonna be sitting there. I'll get another one right there. I did trace this one before I glued it in. So I can cut this one to match. Nothing else. Right, I got that tacked in. It looks like it's even right. Should be good, I think. Looks like it'll turn a boat, doesn't it? Oh, I was not sure about this sea arrangement, but I think that's going to be really good. Oh, and I've been cleaning off my rollers, rolling them out on these parts. And the same one over there, because I'm going to have boards going across here. That'll give some extra resin to wear through before it causes any damage. Alright, it's about 5.30 and I didn't eat lunch. And I'm starving and thirsty. I'm getting out of here. Got my machete, walkie talkie, bag of tools. Today, when I got here, I immediately did this and got some fiberglass on this guy. Since, you know, uh, fiberglassing involves a lot of waiting. So it's good if I can get some done right away. Now, one of the things I definitely want to do to this boat is put hatches in the pontoons. So right now there's one big hatch right there in the middle of each pontoon 
and then there's a, a like a bulkhead here and some one up there so the pontoons are broken up into thirds so i can get into the middle but i can't get into the back one or the front one and i want to so i'm gonna make a hole and make some kind of cover and then something up here this one's going to be a little trickier because huh, this is in the way might have to put something way up i don't know i'm gonna worry about that later let's do this one first now having a big hole ain't always something to brag about but in this case i want a pretty big hole so i can fit some big stuff in there yeah nice big bucket hole that's what i want a big big old bucket hole yeah just like that part was a pain to get through. Beauty. I want to put fiberglass around this, but I can't do it in the sun. It's going to... Fiberglass in the sun is no good. It cures it too fast. So I need to get some shade over here. Bucket came out of there, no problem. Whew. Oh, too bad I can't use buckets for this. Hello. They won't last in the sun though, but they fit so perfectly. Part of it. I definitely did a rush job on this. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Oh, never mind, that came out great. Oh, nice work. <laughs> 